We have a lot of different programs to support, you know, North Carolina to support Ohio, which is where our two main offices are. Um, but the ability to support the military on a national level is it's really important to us. And uh, we're always on the lookout for new ways to, to create those job opportunities. Welcome to the Women in Legal podcast with Chelsea Lambert, where we share the stories of women who are making waves in the legal industry as leaders in law, practicing attorneys, or by working as specialists in areas like legal technology or legal marketing. Listen and be inspired to grow in your own career or find the perfect speaker for your next event. Hello, this is Chelsea Lambert. Welcome back to another episode of the Women in Legal podcast. And today we are joined by two incredible leaders in our space. Kara McGovern Landry, President of Litigation Services at TCDI, and Jennifer Andres, Senior Review Manager at TCDI. Now, I've had the great fortune to learn about a program that came to be uh, just over the course of the past year or so, and that is the Military Spouse Program um, at TCDI. And so I've invited Jennifer and Kara to discuss the program, how it came about, and how people can get involved. And personally passionate about this topic, topic as my own family uh, comes from a military background and what they've done for not only uh, the legal community, but women in legal tech and pursuing a career um, within the e-discovery or document review uh, litigation space um, has really provided a tremendous amount of opportunity to uh, military spouses who might be moving all over the place. So Jennifer, thank you so much for coming and Kara as well. Um, which of the two of you would like to start today with a little bit of background um, on, on your journey and how you came to work at TCDI? So my name is Jen Andres. I have been in the legal field for about five years. I started uh, as an associate attorney at a law firm and then uh, found document review. I was a reviewer and then I uh, ended up being a team lead and a review manager. And then I needed to move uh, and found a senior review manager position with TCDI. Uh, and since uh, joining TCDI, I've just been uh, doing some senior review management, which is coordinating with the review teams as well as the client to make sure that we're providing quality deliverables within a given deadline. So, Kara Landry, I've been in the legal industry for about 22 years now, almost 22 years. Um, I, you know, I started doing PC paper cut productions 22 years ago and just kind of grew from there doing everything in, on the e-discovery side, uh, processing, hosting, collections, manage review, project management, etc. Um, I've been with TCDI for about a year and a half now, almost two years, as president of legal services. And I met Jen, uh, she mentioned uh, that she's been in legal for about five years. I met her about four, four and a half years ago. So uh, I'm thrilled to still be working with Jen. I knew from the second I met her that she was going to be a great resource at you know, whatever company I was with. Um, the military spouse program is, isn't something that just kind of like pops up out of nowhere. So um, Jen, can you share how you really came up with the idea for the program? I understand that you advocated it quite a bit um, within the organization and were instrumental in not only outlining how it would work, um, but working with Kara to, to bring it to light. Um, firsthand, and then building now what has become an incredible uh, network of document reviewers. So a little bit about the product and, and how your vision has really evolved um, since you first came up with the idea. Uh, when I first passed the bar exam, I actually took the Florida bar. I was living in Florida at the time, uh, and I had just gotten married, and my husband's in the Army. Um, he was actually overseas. He was uh, stationed in Honduras, and I wasn't uh, able to be at that duty station with him. So I had to continue my career without being in the same location as him and without knowing really where we were going to go. Uh, so I chose the location I was already in. Uh, and then shortly after, uh, we ended up learning that we were going to be moving to Texas. Um, and because I hadn't been working as an attorney for very long, um, I actually had to end up retaking the Texas, I had to take the Texas bar exam. So even though I had taken and passed Florida, uh, and I had been working as an attorney, I had to then go ahead and take Texas to be able to work as an attorney in Texas. 
so when I did that, I took the bar. I had to take uh, several months off of, of work to study. I had to take it and wait for results. Uh, ultimately, about anywhere from six to nine months off for that process with no, uh, no working in between that time frame. Uh, and then I realized uh, with, within, you know, moving to Texas, within another two to three years, I was going to have to do that process all over again. Because as a spouse of someone that's in active duty, you're going to be moving every two to three years, and oftentimes it's to a new state. Uh, and when that happens, you've got bar certifications that you've got to worry about or, you know, finding new jobs you have to worry about. So when I got to TCDI, remote review was already a program that they had. And when we were discussing staffing projects with this method, uh, you know, I brought up, well, I'm a military spouse. This would have been great uh, had somebody done this back when I was doing document review or back when I was looking for work. It's, it's perfect because I wouldn't have to take a new bar exam for each state. I could just use one bar exam and I can work wherever I go. I don't have to pick up and start over every two to three years. Uh, you know, so sometimes spouses, when we move every two to three years, it could be in the same state but you're still gonna to have to start over and look for a new job or explain a gap in your resume. And it's still something that's kind of a bar to getting employment. So with having a program like the Military Spouse Managed Review Program where you can just consistently work no matter where you're at, it prevents those gaps in resumes as well. So it's, it's one more thing that we're able to overcome and really just continue working using that one degree that we have and not having to keep fighting those battles and redoing it every two to three years. It was an hour and a half each way to work, to work within a document review center. So even though she was lucky enough to live somewhere near a major city, it was still a huge toll on her daily life that she was having to commute three hours a day in order to find a job. Um, so e even though she was one of the lucky ones, it, it didn't always seem so lucky, I don't think. <laughs> Right, and, and it's definitely not always like that. Most spouses will end up living close to a base because of their spouse, so they have an easier commute for their work. Uh, and when that happens, it's, it's oftentimes like what Kara was talking about, it's not always near a major city. And for me, near was an hour and a half. Uh, and there were days where traffic or accidents, that meant even longer. So it's just the commutes that you have to go through, things like that also start to take a toll. So, so yeah, having a program like this is, is definitely beneficial. There's just so many things that because of this program, we really don't have the same type of hurdles we would have had without this type of program. And it's also really been taking off quite well. When we first started, uh, I think we were focusing a lot on the attorney aspect, um, and we started getting in projects where we can even use military spouses who aren't attorneys. You know, we've got coding projects that come in every now and again, and, and we're able to put military spouses that, you know, don't have that law degree, but that can still work on the coding projects and staff them on things. So it's, it's actually been growing pretty successfully, and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the program. And you both bring up a, a great point in that even though you might live, you know, near a major city, it's still not ideal for you to commute three, four hours a day. Um, I, I lived that three, four hour commute for a few years of my life, and it's amazing how much time you have when you don't have to do it anymore. So over the course of, since the program has started now, how many, how has the program expanded? At how many either like geographic areas or um, total reviewers do you have that are part of this network? So we um, started onboarding new employees about a year and a half ago. We have an entirely different onboarding process, which uh, definitely extends the time it takes to bring on a new person. Um, the way you interview and hire a remote employee is different than the way that you hire um, someone who's coming into your office every day. Um, so we started out slowly. We learned as we went. Um, we started, uh, you know, we focused on one key area, which was North Carolina, because that's where uh, TCDI is based. And there's a very large military base uh, in North Carolina, so we focused around there. Uh, and, you know, got up to 25, 30 people uh, right, you know, within the first month or two. Since then, we've expanded to other large military bases in the U.S., and we're up to over a thousand um, people in our military spouses in our um, remote in our review database. Uh, we have a recruiting team who just spends time going out finding these spouses who are ready and willing uh, to work, highly engaged, 
looking through their various backgrounds and skill sets, their foreign language skills, uh, the times they're available to work. Uh, we found that through this program, um, we're able to find a really good, talented, engaged group of, of predominantly women, but we have men as well, uh, who have document review experience um, as well as other legal experience. Um, we have ex-litigators, we have ex-judges, we have associates, we have uh, partners, we have new graduates who are struggling right out of the gate. Uh, so we've been able to create a really good repository um, and grouping of these people who are available um, and ready to go you know, within a couple days notice. And we've been able to build a really good core team and then also extend into different areas. As Jen said, um, we're now also engaging non-attorneys as well. And that's really allowed us to extend uh, the, the, the level and the type of people and definitely the number of resources that we have in our database. Absolutely, and I mean, a great advantage for TCI, uh, TCDI clients who are in need of document review or very quick turnaround times, or as you mentioned, um, unique language uh, translation needs or review needs. Um, I can't even imagine how the talent pool must have just you know, expanded. Um, now you've got an incredible, um, opportunity to find some of the best people in the country that were previously bound by um, those physical limitations of being able to come into an office and also give back to our community and to our country in a way that provides opportunity to, to so many people. So where do you see the program a year from now? Um, what do we have on the horizon expanding again into other service areas or um, really just growing the network? Can you tell me a little bit uh, and our audience a little bit about where you, what you're working on right now? CDI perspective, um, you know, we've made a commitment to create legal job opportunities for military spouses. It's a, it's a great way for us to support the military. TCI is all about giving back to our communities, both nationally and locally. We have a lot of different programs to support you know, North Carolina, to support Ohio, which is where our two main offices are. Um, but the ability to support the military on a national level is it's really important to us. And uh, we're always on the lookout for new ways to to create those job opportunities. So we did start with just document review. Um, as we've mentioned a couple times now, we've expanded into some legal coding, some legal research, which expands the opportunities for the military spouses. You don't just have to be an attorney anymore. Uh, we've opened it up to paralegals and legal admins. We've also um, got a training program for new hires where they can you know, learn litigation coding. We're expanded out to a program called WAGS for Tags, which is supporting um, uh, service animals or um, stress animals for veterans. Uh, you know, having uh, TCDI is a very dog friendly company. We have dogs in our offices. Uh, everyone brings their dog to work. And we did that because, you know, e-discovery and the legal industry in general, it can be very stressful and having your pet there or having a friend to go be able to pet and hug has definitely changed our, our work life balance when we're at work. And we wanted to be able to extend that program to veterans as well. So we partnered with um, a couple of organizations to provide uh, service dogs or um, companions for veterans. So we're always looking for what's coming and, and new and innovative ways to support the military or to support our local communities. For the military um, spouse managed review program, I'd like to see it grow. Um, we have yet to hit all of the major military bases across the U.S. from a staffing or a recruiting standpoint, so that's definitely on our list. Um, we'd like to create more opportunities, um, more legal research. We are, you know, we recently got into contracts review and been able to offer uh, employment opportunities in those areas. We're looking on the cyber security side, which is another key interest for TCDI. Um, there are opportunities for, um, for document review, a different type of document review, but document review nevertheless for both attorneys and non-attorneys on the incident response side. So that's another area. Um, basically everything that we're doing, we're, we're looking to find openings for the military spouses because again, it is a commitment that we've made. So anytime there is an open posting within TCDI, our first thought is 
what about the military spouses? Could they do that? Uh, so we'll just continue to, to look for new um, opportunities and roles and positions there. Uh, so kind of tying into what Kara was saying about uh, a goal being to, uh, you know, get spouses from all the different uh, bases within the U.S., that's something I'm very hopeful for. Uh, you know, there's a lot of bases, kind of what we were talking about earlier, that are not near a major area where it's easy to find jobs. Uh, so really being able to make sure that we can help the military spouses and uh, they do suffer a worse unemployment rate and even underemployment rate than the, the national average. So really working to close that gap as well is also extremely important to me. Uh, I'm just hoping that, you know, within TCDI, we can help close that gap. Maybe other companies as well being able to, to help out and just make sure that the military spouses all over the continent of the U.S. are able to find some type of work to keep them uh, going and engaged in the field that they're in. I couldn't agree with you both more, especially having um, been exposed to the military life in, in my own family. Um, thank you both so, so much for sharing more about the program with us. And for our audience and our listeners getting involved, um, what are the options for them? Where can they find out or um, participate in the program? become part of the, the at least the, the talent pool or submit their information for future consideration and then also from a client perspective how can clients start to leverage the TCDI military spouse program as a resource for their own business I'd say the three easiest ways for people to get in touch with us would be to visit our website, so www.tcdi.com. Uh, we have a military spouse page. It tells you all about it, um, reminds you about some of the great benefits and some of the services that we're offering. There's a link there to contact info at tcdi.com. Um, just reach out with any, any thoughts, any questions. Um, if you're looking to work for us, we'd be thrilled to talk to you. If you're looking to work with us, we'd also be thrilled to talk to you. Um, in addition to our website, um, definitely check us out on LinkedIn and Twitter. We are constantly posting about the new things that we're doing and our new programs. And uh, we post on both LinkedIn and Twitter um, profiles of some of our military spouses. We try to highlight through a newsletter, um, some of the types of projects we're working on and some of the new programs or positions that we're looking to fill. Um, so I think, I think that those three ways are probably the best way to get in touch with us. Uh, if you want to look up Jen and I on LinkedIn, uh, definitely reach out there as well. Great. And coming from, you know, both uh, incredibly accomplished uh, women and, and leaders in our community, um, what is the one piece of advice as we close out today's session that you would give to um, women pursuing a career in the legal field as attorneys, as paralegals or involved in legal technology? For me, it's just to keep pushing and pursuing your interests. Uh, if you know what interests you, just continue to learn about it, continue to strive to, to make it work and, and to really you know, be a part of that industry. And do what makes you happy. Don't feel like you have to, to give and take anywhere. If you want to be in the legal industry and, and uh, you know, document review or, or technology, legal things like that, uh, just really, if that's what your passion is, just go for it. Uh, from my perspective, if you want to be in legal, you have to be willing to always learn. Um, you know, our industry is constantly changing. Technology is changing. Regulations are changing. Um, the different ways that people are being willing to do uh, legal services like a program like Military Spouse. I mean, you just got to be on the lookout, you know, read newsletters, run searches, take some classes, go to CLEs, um, just constantly try to stay abreast of what's going on because, we, you know, we are changing things every day and usually for the better. Uh, but if you don't, if you don't get involved yourself, um, you're going to you're going to fall behind. So that's my advice is always be willing and on the lookout for new things to learn. 
Well, thank you both so much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure being able to share the Military Spouse Program with our audience and readers. Everyone, I encourage you to check out how to get involved on the contact TCDI, connect with Kara and Jennifer on LinkedIn, um, and support the program in any way that you can. Um, it's a, a incredible way to give back to all of the people who serve our country and, and uh, protect us uh, around the world. So thank you both so, so much. And for more information, you can always um, read the show notes on the Lex Tech Review blog under the Women in Legal podcast tab. And until next time, I am your host, Chelsea Lambert, Jennifer and Kara. Thank you again so much for being with us and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Chelsea. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Women in Legal podcast with Chelsea Lambert. To hear more, please subscribe 